Welcome to week 13 of tax season, everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about something that's been happening that's relatively strange and I don't understand. So maybe some of you can help me figure out what's going on here. So when I have new clients, I always request the previous one or two years worth of tax returns, both state and federal. And most of the time, actually never has it ever been an issue. People usually hand me that information. I always provide a secure way for them to get me that information and I do my thing. But this year, however, a very large portion of people I have asked for previous returns have given me attitude. Well, why do you need that? Why should I give it to you? Do you have to have it? Like, I'm serious. It hasn't been nice. It hasn't been like, okay, but can you explain why you need it? I, I don't understand what is going on. So today I'm going to explain why I need those things. But the first thing I want to point out is that as a CPA, I am a fiduciary, which means your information is always private unless two very cer certain circumstances are met. And circumstance number one is that you give me explicit written permission to share your information. And then, of course, I'm only sharing what you have allowed me to share. And then the second way people would get information from me would be if I receive a subpoena from a court of law. And then in that case, I would be very careful only to provide the information they specifically requested, not necessarily everything. So let me point that out, that even if I think you're doing something criminal on your tax return, I cannot pick up the phone and call the FBI, the IRS, the police or anybody else and turn you in at all. First of all, let's establish that. Second, if I see something that's not right with your previous tax return, of course, I'm going to have a conversation with you because most of the time, I don't think anybody is trying to do something criminal. I think they just didn't know. And I advise them and hopefully we fix the problem before it's ever found by anyone else. And if for some reason that person is being purposely criminal and doesn't want to change it, then I disengage from the relationship. But even then, I am still bound to the confidentiality rules of a CPA. And again, I still cannot release any information without those two very certain circumstances being met. So as to why I request these tax returns, well, the first reason is because there's just a lot of information in there that I'm going to take from that tax return and put into the new tax return. I do have tax organizers that I send people. I would say only about 10% of them actually fill them out and it requests that information. It's social security numbers and birth dates and addresses and dependent information and just lots of extra information that I'm going to take and transfer to the new year tax return. So there's that one. The second reason is, especially for those of you who have small businesses or you have uh, investment properties, we're going to have things like depreciation of equipment and property and all of those kinds of things that, again, I'm going to most likely get it from your previous year's tax return. The third reason I like to do it is because what if for some reason, when you're used to getting a refund, the year I do your taxes, you suddenly owe. So the first thing I want to do is analyze why. Did I miss something? Is something not pulling over the way that it's supposed to be pulling over. I liked to compare the previous year to the current year so I can figure out exactly why you owe, or in some cases, why you would have received a giant refund because that's happened a few times as well. And I really want to know those answers before I call you and talk to you about it. So as you can see, lots of reasons for me want to do that. And then the final reason is sometimes you guys forget to tell me things that I'm going to see in the previous year's tax return. A perfect example that I often see is the first time home buyers credit that happened in 2008 that people have to pay back at $500 per year. No one remembers to tell me that it's always on the previous tax return because I have to make sure to enter that information correctly so that we can continue to move forward because if I don't catch that on the previous year's tax return, if you don't tell me when I go to file that return, it's going to get rejected. So that's why I ask for previous year's tax returns. I promise I'm not doing it for any other reason other than those reasons. I'm doing it to help you get your tax return done quicker with me pestering you a lot less. So 
there we go. If you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know. Would love to know why you would balk at giving me a copy of your tax return, especially since I'm privy to all of that sensitive information to begin with. So just curious about what's going on there. So let me know. Next week, my plan is to talk about divorce and how it affects your taxes. It's something that's very, very prevalent. It's generally not going very well with the spouses who are divorcing, not really getting along all that well at all. So that's my plan for next week if nothing crazy happens in the tax world. We'll see you then, everybody. Take care.